the youngest member in the club, Taim Khader, is going to tell you the surprising suffering. He's going to tell you the surprising suffering of being a doctor's son during COVID-19. Hi, I'm Taim from Gaza. I'm nine years old. I may be too young, but I have something to share with you. All of us love our families, love the time we spend together, like playing, learning, cooking yummy food, having some fun, reading stories, and so on. I want to ask you a question. How do you spend your time together with your families? Raise your hand. Hmm, it looks like nobody is raising their hand. And I'm going to answer the questions. Maybe you go to the sea, have a picnic, or play Uno, or go to the fun fair, or watch TV, or anything. But for me, these simple things are different. My father is a doctor. He's an internist. My doctor is a doctor, too. She's an ophologist. We were such a happy family. I told COVID-19 outbreak. My father was more involved in COVID-19 because he's an eternist. So I couldn't see him most of the time, or maybe for days. What made me feel so sad and lonely? After a year of pandemic, we got back to school. Everyone was wearing their masks, and everyone was scared of being infected. Weeks later, my school announced the beginning of the Ted Club. I was really excited to join. I wanted to deliver a message to the whole world. I know I'm the youngest among my colleagues, but I'm able to express my ideas, not just by talking, but also with my simple drawings. I'm one of the doctor's kids around the world who was affected negatively by the pandemic event. Bad event, by the way. In 2020, my dad has been outside to work in COVID hospital for one month. I miss him so much. I miss the time to, I miss the time we spent together as a happy family. I was scared without him. Even when I miss his voice, I couldn't call him as he was wearing PBE most of the time. There was sad news everywhere. The healthcare system collapsed. And more doctors were infected than many of them died, which made me feel terrified of losing my father. Thank God, Dad came back home. He was tired, but otherwise in good health. It was the worst experience I ever had. As the days passed, the pandemic didn't stop, and the numbers were increasing day by day. That stressed me a lot. Is it my mom's turn now? Hearing Bob talking about her colleagues and how we're affected and may have died made me feel sad. According to BFJ, Global Health for the year 2020, 152,888 infections and 1,413 deaths were reported. Infections were mainly in women by 71.6%. And in nurses, by 38.6%, but deaths were mainly in men, by 70.8%, and in doctors, by 51.4%. It's a scary number, isn't it? Dad continued his work in a regular daily work, and was exposed to more undiagnosed, infected people who were asymptomatic but infected. And here comes the disaster. My dad has corona for a patient in the hospital. He was really sick. He isolated himself in his room for two weeks. I could see him, but I, could, I couldn't touch him or get close to him. He was suffering from fever, chills, fatigue, weakness, a bad headache. I saw how she was in pain, but I couldn't even help. That broke my heart. What if he, or if he, or why all of this happened? 
The answer is simple. Because everyone ignores the most simple way to protect themselves and their society, which is wearing face masks. Wearing them decreases the contagion by 80% according to the show. Thank God that that recovered well, and I'm no longer around, and I'm happy. My message to the whole world from here is please have mercy to the doctors. They have life, kids, families waiting for them. And please, wear your mask. I don't want to be alone again. Thank you.